Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this video we will see what is the routing parameter in the Angular and how we can pass the data from one, one component to another component with the help of routing parameters. All right. So here is the first question. What is the routing parameters? So when we are just sending some data or some IDs through the uh, URL address bar, then we can say that this is the routing parameter. For example, I am just going to show you uh, just right here this type code post here you can see that if I am just going to pass here some ID like one then you can see that you will just get the data behalf of this ID only for the one user alright so this is basically the routing parameter so we can just pass here name also and we can just pass here some uh, mobile number address whatever you just want to pass but please keep in mind with the URL only we have to just share the a small amount of data if our data is in a very large scale then we have to use another method and we will learn these method in the upcoming videos so now let's start with this video so for uh, using the routing parameters and passing the data we will do these steps so first of all we have to make the two components and we will just make the route for them and then we have to just make the HTML links so that we can just click on the one link and go through the another route and with this click we can just also pass some data and after that we can also see that how we can just get this data from the URL bar so let's say if we just pass here comp and like name anil then how we can get this name inside our this component all right so now let's start so first of all let's clear the command line like this and now let's make the two component so first of all let's make the user component ngg component and component name let's say users like this right and after that let's make one more component with the name of let's say user details right and just hit, just hit the enter now we created the two components and you will file these components here so let's refresh it here all right and now let's make the route for both of them so that let's open the app.route.model.ts file import them both of file import something from um, user detail and user detail component and with the same way just also import something from um, users and users component so let's just get the user component and user detail component now in this route routes array let's take make a object and provide the path let's say path is user and on this user guys if you don't know about that what is uh, the routings and all and how it's actually work then you can watch our previous two videos in these videos i am just uh, showing you the details about the routers even from the very scratch all right so if you are just familiar with a uh, little bit with the routers then that's okay you can just continue this video also all right so now this is the uh, path and now let's define the component so let's say my component will be uh, user component here all right so let's make one more component and in this component we will uh, just define here details uh, the ID params like this so that this ID will help us to provide the data from here like this right so now let's make it fine this is not fine right now so now you can just put here user details component right so the work of uh, routing model file is done now let's go inside the app dot component dot HTML file and just simply write here a link so just make a link here and inside the link let's just write here go to the uh, users list right go to users list perfect and in the behalf of href we can just simply write here route link uh, it should be a router link right and the router link will be uh, it will be a user users and the router link should be 
matched with the path please keep in mind that perfect so now let's see now you can see that uh, whenever I'm just going to click on it uh, let's just remove this first of all and whenever I'm just going to click on it um, this is not working let me check what's going on uh, yeah, because there is a user so I am just going to change it with the users because this is a complete user list and the users will be fine so here you can see that this is the users but but nothing is here for now uh, so let's uh, just define the route outlets also so just define the route outlet and let's make it close all right so now you are able to see okay routers outlet i think let me check so wrong with with, with it mm, i think just put here r there also now let's see okay so now this is fine whenever i'm just going to click on it now you can see that user works so now let's go on a user dot component.html file and just make a small list here let's select ul li and here just define some hrf not hrf router link and here you can just define here this path all right so just write here this path like this and here we have to just write here go to user one all right but how did it will know that it's a user one because we have to pass here the user id now it will know that this is a user one so now let's make some more routes like two three four and five and let's make the user name also change four and five so here you can see that it's a user one so whenever i'm just going to click on it uh, uh, it will just show that users dot detail dot one because uh, the user should be only detail dot one that's why we just have to put here slash in the front of it perfect let's now see whenever you work, click on it you can see that user detail works that means it's just, uh, uh, user detail is open here this is working fine but how we can just get this id now all right so for that you must have to go inside the user detail dot ts file and let's import first of all activated url all right so just find here from uh, angular mm -mm -mm. yeah at the rate angular and router just find here activated route and let's make an instance of this activated route and it should be kind of private private router and let's define the activated router in instance here all right so now in the console dot uh, ng on con in it just define a console dot log and let's just write here this dot routes dot snapshot dot params all right and you will get this id here now you can see that this id is here all right so let's go back and let's click on the fifth element now you will get the id 5 all right even you can pass here name or anything that you just want all right so let's say you can just pass here name like anil Sam, Peter, Bruce, Tony, and anything that you want. Right. So let's go back and let's click on a user 5. Then you will find Tony is here. When you just go on the second one, then you will just find the Sam. Perfect. So after that, how we can show this? Uh, ID or name on our user detail page for that let's come back to the user detail page and let's take uh, any variable like data and by default it will be blank and now 
you can just define here this dot data equal to this dot router dot snapshot dot params perfect dot id right because the id is uh, mentioned here in the module so the second parameter will be or second uh, secondary url after the slash it will be the name as id okay so now uh, after this let's take this data on our uh, html page and just define h1 tag and here you can just write here hi and you can in the double curly braces just write here data and now you will see that hi sam hi tony hi peter and all so this is the way that how we can use the parameters with the angular routing if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care